The newest concert venue in Las Vegas has quickly become one of the most photographed attractions in the world. The sphere towers over other structures in Las Vegas and it intertwines culture, technology, science and art. What you may not know about the $3 billion building is the contribution made by a Canadian company. Mike Armstrong explains. They are kind of impressive to see close up. Dozens of light pucks, each with 48 LEDs flashing in the Montreal factory where they were built. But what they do with 1.2 million pucks is, well, eye popping. During the last five years of our life, it, it is what we've been focusing on, and the results are uh, astonishing. Jonathan Lebe is the co-CEO of Seiko Technologies. The Canadian company was hired at first to do the outside of the sphere, and then later the inside. It's a different sort of technology, boards instead of pucks, but just as impressive. The venue opened officially with the U2 show Friday, making use of a video screen with 170 million pixels. It's the highest resolution of any screen of any sort in the world. The Seiko team knew what their screen could do and say they were still shocked. Yeah, I'm going to say it was, uh, I mean, it was uh, mind blowing. The idea came from a sketch by the executive director of Madison Square Garden, James Dolan. He also owns the New York Knicks and New York Rangers. He and his team wanted to create a new entertainment venue in Vegas. They looked at different shapes, a pyramid, a box, even a muffin, before settling on the sphere. This is experiential. You know, it's something that people haven't ever felt before, and I believe they're going to love it. The Sphere is set to premiere a new movie Friday. Postcard from Earth is directed by Darren Aronofsky. Every image was shot specifically for the round format. Not only did we create the screen for MSG, but MSG then had to create a special camera system. So innovation all around. Aronofsky's movie is part sci-fi, part nature documentary. It's going to run for a year, but the years to come will be interesting. It's hard not to wonder what artists will do with the sphere and what other cities might want their own. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.